One of the most important things in physics and in football is to be able to completely describe the motion of an object. And to do that, we need vectors. That's a measurement that includes direction, right? Like velocity? Exactly. Velocity includes both speed and direction. Now things get interesting when multiple velocities combine, like on a rollout pass. Let's show them. If Chris runs to the right at 8 meters per second while throwing the ball downfield at 15 meters per second, the actual velocity of the ball will be the combination of these individual velocities. To figure it out, we have to place the vector arrows tip to tail and determine the hypotenuse of the right triangle. So in this case, the ball will have a velocity vector of 17 meters per second at an angle of 28 degrees. So you see it's very important for a quarterback to factor in their own velocity when launching an accurate pass. Actually, Mr. Leonard, I consistently throw at 20 meters per second, so it better make their result velocity at 21 meters per second at 22 degrees. I stand corrected. Enjoy the rest of the game, fans.